Yeah, I think we're mm -hmm. just grabbing Bro, what are you doing, uh, popcorn man? What, why would I not make popcorn? Oh, I feel like I'm about to watch a prize fight. Hey. Am I the only one that realizes what's actually happening right now? We Maybe. know what's going on. We're winning. Nate White is about to go on and put the nail in Othello's coffin on live Whoa, TV. Oh no, I do not approve of the coffin talk. <sighs> but yes, it is accurate to say that things are going according to Look, plan. Respectfully, Ashley, I do know the difference between a public statement and a private conversation. I don't and, think you do. Well, I don't see any cameras around here right now. Literally. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's on, it's on. Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone, and welcome to the show, Nate White. Nate the Great. Yes, the Daily Horn reporter who just dropped an absolute bombshell mm. of a report on embattled GM Othella Akpam. Welcome to the show. It is truly my pleasure, Stan. Thank you so much for having me. So you all right, all right. Just give, give, give us a quick summary of what was in the article for those of us who haven't gotten a chance to read it yet. Well, I encourage you to read the article. And if you want all the details, make sure you go to the Daily Horns website. But here's the gist of the story. GM uh, Athelam Achman, Achpem, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Achpem. <laughs> I mean, has created a rift in the organization between himself and brand marketing VP Freddie Novak. Now, is going so far as to confess to those in the inner circle that Check this out. He believes that Novak is angling for his job. Drama. Mm. Is, is there any truth to the idea that Freddie Novak would look to move to the basketball side of operations? I know that he and Phil Boyer have worked very closely together, but this is the first time I've heard of this, and I'm fairly plugged in with people oh, in that organization. Please, that is true. JJ's plugged in. I'm plugged in. Perk, I'm plugged in. <laughs> well, JJ, um, you know, I couldn't find a single person who could confirm that. As far as I can tell, I mean, it's, I mean, Maybe it's it's a little bit of what we call a, a paranoid delusion on the part of Opkin. Wow, Nate, that's a serious accusation. Hey, listen, I don't write this stuff. I just report what I find, right? That's why I wouldn't make it lightly. But I've heard from multiple sources inside the organization that Opkin has attempted to undermine Novak in the attempt to, uh, in order to convince team president Phil Boyer to move on from him. I mean, Phil Boyer. Uh, yeah, well, he's basically eliminating the perceived I, well, yeah, threat of his job. Right, eliminating or? that, to, you know, to the threat of his job. I mean, the paranoia mm. sets in, right? Interesting. Mm. Can, can you go into that a little bit more? How Look has he you. undermined him? You want it all. Well, uh, my <laughs> colleague John Luck reported earlier this season that Op can forbid MP from engaging in in any PR initiatives around the city, which, of course, were organized by no other than Mr. Novak himself. He also reportedly ignored the findings of the team's analytics department on a consistent basis, going so far as to tell the organization's proprietary all-in-one stat are complete and utter nonsense. And of course, you got the proposed and obviously raised, I mean, I mean, multiple red flags across the league with all the rival GMs, and, and many of whom view MP. I'm going to say it as a superior talent. Really? You hear that, Perk? Perk, <clears throat> I know you heard it. He said MP's the superior talent. JJ, I don't know what it is with your exception with MP. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up on Shep just yet. But if everything you say is to be true, Nate, it sounds like Othella is GMing to save his job, mm. not the betterment of the team. And that's unacceptable. You can't trust someone who puts themselves before the team like that. Where, where did this idea come from that Freddie Novak was angling for Othello Ockpem's op, 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 job? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> I'm going to mess it up well, all the JJ, time. Well, JJ, I mean, that's a great question. And, I mean, something that continues to confuse the people I've talked to uh, who are actually familiar with the dynamics of the preferred uh, of the situation. I actually. know I'm but, confused. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, of course. But, I mean, the best I can tell... Othello preferred Owens, but was overruled by Phil Boyer on draft night. Then, when Phil hired Freddie Novak to help smooth things over, over, over with the fans, Othello convinced himself that Freddie was gunning for his job. That was too much. I, I keep getting hung up on this uh, convinced himself part. What do you mean by that? I, I mean, well... It's obvious. Well, I haven't been able to find a single person who thinks Freddie has one iota interest in the job. Right. Okay. Right. He currently doesn't have the background, obviously. And yes, Phil Boyer loves what he brings to the team. But 
would never hire him to make basketball decisions. I mean, obviously, that's not an area of his expertise, right? Not even right? close? No. Yeah. Well, it, listen, if that's all true, then I don't see how Othella can continue to be the GM of this franchise. It's never easy to call for someone's job, and I respect that this is the man's livelihood, right. but you can't GM to save your job. Your responsibility is to the organization. This is the cardinal sin of te- team building. We've seen it time and time again mm-hmm. in this league, and it never ends well. Right. When you lose the big picture like that, and that has certainly happened with the proposed MP Shep trade, it's time to move on. Mm. Well, it, hold on, hold on for a second. Mm. Othello's a good man, yeah. a family man, but I have to agree with JJ here. He's not the right fit for the job anymore. You hear that, Sam? Wow. <laughs> That's Perk agreeing with me. A Perkins <laughs> JJ agreement. Yeah. This is a certainly a stunning turn of events. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so stunning, in fact, that we actually took to the streets to ask city fans what they think about the current situation. Check this out. MP is one of the finest young men and the greatest basketball talents I've ever had the pleasure of calling a friend. And anyone who would consider trading him needs to get his head screwed on straight. Yeah, I don't want to speak out of turn about what's going on behind the scenes, but as far as MP goes, it would be a tragedy, honestly, to trade him for Shep. And I mean on every level. Organizations disagree on talent and direction all the time. That being said, MP has given everything to this city and is a tremendous talent. So it's difficult for me to see why someone in Othello Opium's situation would try to move him, especially at such a high cost. There you have it. The city is united behind their rookie MP. As well they should be, Stan. Seems the only guy who doesn't believe in MP is this guy, Kendrick Perkins. This Y'all guy. ready for this? I actually believe in MP. Oh. But guess what? I just believe in Shep more. But forget all that. Based on everything that we've learned over the past few days, Othello, he has to go. The sooner, the better. Carry on. All right. That nice. couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> yeah. I'd say there's a 90-10 split in favor of MP That's on social. Get it. Yes. yes. Hey, hopefully Phil Boyer feels the same way. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Bro, I know you're joking me right now. What? That's your That is your ringtone. Yes. Wow. Hey, how about picking it up already? <laughs> okay. Jeez. Hello? Speaking? Yeah, he's right here with me. Sure. Sure, he'll be right there. Yo, do we have any more popcorn? Bro, I know we get finished. Bro, who was that? What? I'm hungry. That was, uh, that was Phil Boyer's office. He said he wants to see you right away. It, d- did he say anything else? Just that it was urgent. That's interesting. Okay. Is that bad? I don't know. How did Phil sound? Well, it was his receptionist, and she sounded how she always sounded. You know, polite, courteous, but you should probably get over there and see what he yeah, wants. Yeah, 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 I'll get over yeah. there. Yeah. Hey, no matter what happens, we're going to get through this, okay? We're going to get through it together. Y'all hot. Like no, hot hey, you hot. No. rip off this Band-Aid. All right. There's no time for dawdling. Go. All right, all right, all right. See you guys in a bit, all right? Here we go. My nephew's a... 